Hey guys, Houndoomed here, coming at you once again with another episode of Pokemon Black 2. On the last episode, we took down the Elite Four, and on this episode, we're going to be taking down the Champion of Unova. Now, this champion fight is very tough. Um, I have absolutely no idea who I'm going to lead with, because this initial fight is insanely difficult. Um, I think my best bet will actually be Krusty Krab. Um, I don't know what, how exactly did he get one of his hit points taken off? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, I think Krusty Krab is going to be the best bet here. But, um, the champion leads with arguably her worst Pokemon. Crap, I revealed her gender. Whoops. <laughs> Most of you probably know who she is already. Um, but yeah, so, she leads with arguably her worst Pokemon, I would say. Um, obviously it's not her star, but, um, I'd say it's her worst to lead with. Um, but this one is extremely tough. You need to be very careful with this champion fight. Some of them are pushovers. This one, not so much. You have to be very careful with this one. I'm going to say that now and then I'll make it look like a pushover. I really hope I don't. I want this to be difficult. I want this to be as difficult as Cynthia was in Platinum. But, um, when you're ready, climb the stairs of the new Pokemon League. I love this scene. Welcome, Challenger! Who is it? Who is it? I've been waiting for this! I think that hair gives it away. Move into position. Know what? I really look forward to having serious battles with strong trainers. I mean, come on! The trainers who make it here are trainers who desire victory with every fibre of their being and they are battling alongside Pokemon that have been through countless difficult battles. If I battle with people like that, not only will I get stronger, my Pokemon will too, and we'll get to know each other even better. Okay, brace yourself. I'm Iris, the Pokemon League Champion, and I'm going to defeat you. So this is it. The champion, Iris. She leads with all guns blazing. This is Hydreigon, level 57, Dark Dragon type, with the ability Levitate. With the moves Dragon Pulse, Surf, Flamethrower, and Charge Beam. Oh my god, this thing is so difficult, you have no idea. I forgot about Surf, oh for god's sake. This thing has such amazing coverage, it's insane. Um, epic battle scene, epic music, epic everything. Um, I'm obviously going to die, but um, yes, I guess it doesn't really matter. I should have Shell Smashed, actually. That would have been a good idea, but I didn't think that I would have survived that surf, but oh well. So, I need something fast, of which I have none. <laughs> Lovely. Um, see, Blu-ray could probably take a Charge Beam, I would say, um, but I really need him for later. Oh god, this this Pokemon has a move to hit every single one of my Pokemon super effectively. Except for Conquer and Electra. I think we're going to go with Electra here. Uh, we're going to have to go with Super Power here. Oh, this is going to hit hard. You can take it, Electra. Come on. Better than I thought, in fact. Well done. Oh, I know who's coming out next. I think this is going to be the star. Oh, it's not. Okay. That's surprising. Okay, so... Um, need to think about who to use here. Um, I think Conquer, really. Yeah. So... This is Agron, level 57, Steel Rock type with the ability Rock Head, with the moves Double Edge, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Autotomize. Now this thing doesn't have Sturdy, which is a very good thing, so it does mean that if you would like to use something like Surf, you can dispose of this thing very quickly. Just like I did. Well done, Conker. Try to learn Superpower. Nah. 
I like the power, but Drain Punch is so much better. With you, anyway. <sighs> okay, this thing I'm worried about. The fact is, is that I think Conquer is actually going to be the best bet here. Because this thing has Rock Slide. Which is obviously taking down three of my Pokemon. And then Electro cannot take down a Dragon at all. So Conquer, you're staying in. This is Dragon, level 57. Dragon type with the ability Sheer Force and holding the item Life Orb. With the moves Dragon Tail, Rock Slide, Flamethrower and Focus Blast. Obviously Flamethrower and Focus Blast may seem like odd options. But when combined with Sheer Force and Life Orb, they're going to hit hard. So do be very careful. And they will surprise you, those moves do surprise you, especially if you're using something like a Steel type. If you're thinking you're going to, uh, to take advantage of its resistance to Dragon. Right. Now this thing is faster than me, which I don't like, but it doesn't really matter. Conquer, you did very well. Thanks for that. Right. Now I need something fast. Um, Ignite, you're absolutely fine. You're going to easily outspeed this drug again. Um, let's go for Psychic. That's a very safe option. That isn't likely to miss. Right. Okay, big guns, Blu-ray, this is your time to shine. So this is Haxorus, the star of her show, level 59, Dragon type with the ability Mold Breaker. With the moves Jewel Chop, Dragon Dance, as you see, Earthquake and X Scissor holds a Focus Sash. Obviously you need to be very careful with the um, Dragon Dance and Focus Sash combo. Um, now, can you take this Dual Chop? No you can't, damn. Oh, well done, Blu-ray. That's epic. Well done. And you're going to get a well-deserved level from that. Surviving with 3 HP. Seriously, well done. Okay, Lapras. Um, Electra. Again, you're the one for the job here. So this is Lapras, level 57, Water Ice type with the ability Water Absorb. With the moves Surf, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt and Sing. Sing is obviously very frustrating, but it is very inaccurate as well. Of course I say that. <laughs> but of course. Do 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 do. I probably should use a full restore right about now. She's not going to heal, I don't think. And, um, yeah, I outspeed anyway, so it's fine. Okay, Ice Beam. That hit quite hard. But this Thunderbolt will hit harder. Right. Last Pokemon. Who to take it down with? Uh, Hieroglyph can't take that. Blue Ray's on too low health. And Ignite Sweet to Rock. Electros, yours again. This is Archaeops, level 57, Rock Flying type with the ability Defeatist. With the moves Acrobatics, Rock Slide, Dragon Claw, and Endeavor. Endeavor's a nice way for it to um, circumvent its Defeatist, so be very careful. But a nice strong Water, Electric, Rock, Ice. Whatever, steel type move. Ah, oh, I did my best, but I didn't win. Or something like that. I'm upset I couldn't win, but you know what? More than that, I'm happy. I mean, come on. By having a serious battle, you and your Pokemon, and me and my Pokemon, we all got to know one another better than before. Yep, we sure did. Okay, let's go. I don't really think Iris suits being the champion very much, but I do really like that um, champion battle. 
I like it better than order, especially since the music's so much better. Okay, go on ahead. Hurry. Whoa. Easy there, Iris. So, this room is the Hall of Fame. Your name and your Pokemon's names will be recorded here, so these important things will never be forgotten. That you are an excellent and kind trainer, that you are considerate towards your Pokemon, and you give them your whole heart, and that your wonderful Pokemon believe in their trainer with all their hearts, and together you have a strength that knows no bounds. Hey, come on. Oh, excuse me. Sean. To the trainer standing before me, and to the Pokemon at your side, your beautiful bond has grown strong through battle. In order, in order to make this bond an eternal treasure, your names shall be recorded here. Here we are, the Hall of Fame. It's been over a year, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, all of our Pokemon are being recorded. All of the epic Pokemon that have helped me through this game. I'm so happy with Blu ray. There's been. I haven't, like, wished to use a Pokemon more than Blu ray, and Blu ray has just turned out to be so epic. That's it. I'm the new league champion! And there's Krusty Krab. <laughs> so when you do um, beat the game, depending on which game you're playing, you will either unlock challenge mode or you will unlock easy mode. Because you're playing because I'm playing black too, I've unlocked the challenge key. So challenge mode can now be selected and keys can be sent and received via infrared connections to unlock each other's locked settings and map locations. Uh, and then if you're playing white too you will unlock easy mode. and then you can send them across via infrared, uh, which is a good thing. So that's it. Pokemon Black 2 is half complete. <laughs> it's not fully complete. We've got plenty to do in the after game. Um, so, when is the after game going to be starting? Well, <laughs> obviously it massively depends on when I actually get this uploaded, but um, yeah, it shouldn't be too, too long after. Normally I have a bit of a break, but I don't think I want to with this one. Um, I'm going to be having a brand new team for the... Um, after game section. Um, I'm going to have my regular team until we get our way to Nimbasa City and then um, to the Poké Transfer Lab. And then I'll be transferring over six Pokémon. And I'm going to have an HM Slave, which is unfortunate because I don't like having HM Slaves, but I need one. <laughs> because of the Pokémon I'm using, I absolutely need one. Which sucks, but um, yeah. So, I'm going to have a brand new team of Pokémon I absolutely adore. Um, they're all some of my favourite Pokemon in the game. And, um, yeah. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But, um... So yeah, we're just running through and... Revisiting all of the old areas. So we saw Marlon. And they're getting rid of all the ice in Opelucid City. I really like these credits. Like, the, the music that was in, um... The music that was in uh, the black and white one credits was so much better, but this these credits are so good. 
Like, I never actually like credits very much, but because you're like visiting all of the old areas, it's just so good. I really do like this game. I think this is one of the best Pokemon games ever made. I think this is probably the third best um, game ever. Um, third best Pokemon game. After Platinum and Explorers of Sky. Uh, the Mystery Dungeon game, of course. Um, speaking of which, I'm actually going to be starting a new LP soon. I know, it's been forever since I've started an LP. But um, yeah, I'm going to be starting... Um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I've got to come up with some. Um, I've got to come up with some uh, thumbnails and backgrounds, and I want to see. I want to think about how exactly I want to do this LP. But um, I think it's going to be a bit different because I'm not going to be using the same Pokemon all the time. Um, so it'll be interesting. But yeah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky is one of the best games ever made. It's so good. The story is amazing. The game lasts forever. It's just so good. I won't even be able to cover all of it. Like some of the things in there are so hard that you just can't cover them. Well, you can cover them, but <laughs> I'm not that good at the game. But um, so yeah. But I don't know when I'm going to be starting that. It'll be fairly soon. But um, yeah, I just I, I I'm not exactly sure when. But I'll probably be starting Black Two's after game fairly quickly, um, and then. I will be, after that's kind of, we've got into the swing of that, I'll then start Explorers of Sky. Um, as for Emerald, um, I haven't really decided when I want to restart that again. Obviously it's just, uh, oh it's N, and Zekrom. It is just literally one episode that requires a lot of editing before I can start that again. But we'll see, it's just the motivation thing. Emerald is a really tough game to go through. Um, and also the fact that, um, that one episode is going to take so long to edit. It's just awful. Absolutely awful. But, uh, yeah. So kudos for such a, an amazing game, Nintendo. Black 2 was easily one of the best games I've played. So we're back home. Nespercia City. Haven't been in here for haven't been here for ages. And off we walk with our mum. The end. So that's it for this LP. No, it's not. It will almost be the end of this LP. No, it's just, it's just basically the end of the main story. Um, we will be fighting through the rest of the game, doing all the after game, and then also, eventually, because this is going to take a lot of time, um, we will then be fighting the... Um, well, I don't know how I want to do it. I'll either fight the Champion and Elite Four rematches first, so that we kind of end Black 2, or I might do it so that we do the Pokemon World Tournament and then do the rematches. Because I'm going to have a brand new team for the Pokemon World Tournament as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But um, I'm probably going to do it so that I will do the Pokemon World Tournament at the end of everything, and then do the rematches afterwards, so that the rematches close everything. Because that's what I've done in previous games. So, that's pretty much it. So, until the next episode, whenever that may be, I will see you then, guys. And thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you next time for the beginning of the after game. It's not the end yet, but, uh, yeah, on the next time. I'll see you then, guys.